Welcome to Sketchcam 1.3, released in May 2015. 1.3 brings some new options to Sketchcam, the main one among them being ramping. Ramping allows the toolbit to gradually enter the workpiece instead of plunging straight down. This is very useful for harder materials such as G10 and aluminium and enables more options when cutting things on machines such as the Ox and Shapoko, which are not as stiff as a Bridgeport milling machine. An additional tool is the Set Ramp V-Tabs on the Tools Flatboys menu. Tools, Flatboys, Set Ramp V-Tabs. Clicking that will have no visible effect, excepting that it will change settings on this parameters dialog. For ramping tabs, you will need to fiddle with the depth. The set ramp V tabs option will change the depth for you so that you get a true percentage remaining, and it will also change the tab width. What does it change it to? It calculates the size of the V tab to achieve the ramp angle limit. There's the option to switch commenting styles. There are a few G code interpreters that prefer a semicolon to start comments. So a comment would look like semicolon and then text. A normal commenting style is enclosed in brackets, which is what Mac 3 and Linux CNC use. I believe Gribble and others also understand that format, but some prefer the semicolon format, and so that is now an option. Do note, however, that the Gplot preview program does not understand semicolon comments. So if you want to be able to preview your code using that tool, you must use brackets. The joiner tool has been upgraded quite a lot. It is happy with both comment formats, noting that it searches for certain comments so that it knows where it is in the file. The Gcode Joiner now remembers the folder where you selected your first file and it rem remembers the extension that you used. So if you have Gcode files that have NC extensions and say for example NGC extension and you change from one to the other while you are selecting files, it will default to the new one on the next file select. It also shows you how many files you have selected so far. And once you move to selecting the output file, the dialog shows you which files you have selected so far and in what order. Polygons used to be incorrectly detected as circles and output as circle commands. They are now correctly detected as polygons and will be output as line segments. The restore default button on the parameters dialog has been fixed, and G code lines have been shortened in general. They used to be formatted with plenty of spaces to make them human readable, but now they are single spaced and a lot shorter so that Gribble is happy. Older versions of Gribble could only accept 50 characters on a line. Uh, newer versions can accept 80, but uh, some lines were still longer than that.